What's up guys? What is up? We are back in Fallout 4. Last left off, we freed Lorenzo Cabot under uh, questionable circumstances just to see what's up with the Cabot house, see what's going on. Uh, we will probably, because I know Lorenzo's a psychopath and is probably gonna kill people and become evil because he has a fucking artifact on his head and seems very evil. And we might have to boss fight him, and that's the only reason I'm doing this, is because I want to see a real potential boss fight between us and see what that would be like. But, uh, after that, we will go ahead and do things a little bit more peacefully and, uh, not worry too much about, uh, about, uh, small details and, and the like. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead, make our way somewhere, and, yeah, after this, though, we will probably reload, uh, see what's up. I mean, I don't even have to loot, because it doesn't matter. Uh, but we will probably reload to the other save, uh, then the guy will study the artifact for a week, so we just have to wait a week, and we can fast travel there and see what's up, and take it from there, so if, if it doesn't take too long, we can see both endings to this quite interesting storyline. Uh, we can see both endings pretty quickly, so we just gotta see what's up with this guy, because this is gonna be indeed something. I mean, honestly, I kind of... You know, they're both kind of in the wrong. On one hand, this guy's a evil murderer. On the other hand... Hey. I'll meet you at Cabot House. Right, I like the way he talks, too. Uh, on one hand, that guy's a psychopathic murderer. Uh, on the other hand, what we have going on is... Uh, well, these guys were kind of stealing. They locked up their father for 400 years and were literally stealing his blood to use for immortality. But then his father used his powers to tell the raiders about the immortality. Uh, that's my guess on what happened. And then tell them, telepathically or something, how to free him. Which is actually absolutely genius and evil. But, yeah. Something, something like that. So, actually this loading screen happens. And I finished my yawn. Okay, uh, take a bubba. Why do I got a yawn? Hmm. 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 I don't know, I'm just humming a lot. Uh, come on now, game. Don't do this to me, baby girl. Come on. Come on. Let's go. On delay. On delay. It's not gonna on delay, is it? Hmm. Well, damn. I guess we get to look at this beautiful pit. There we go. Damn right. Let's see what's up here. Do we have to fight these guys? Where is Jack running into the house? <laughs> is Lorenzo not here yet? Is he like on his way or something? What is that? Oh, Tempine's Bluff. Shit. We'll get to that in the save that matters. This is probably not going to be the save that matters. Just, just clarifying there. Is this guy going to shoot at me or what's up? Alright, let's head back into the house. Can I not open it? The fuck? Come on. There we go. Uh, yeah, unless I get some kind of insane reward from this side of the stuff, which I probably won't. And even if I do, I don't know. I kind of like the cabots. They're cool. Damn. Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? Oh, wait. Let's talk to him. Come on. There we go. Lorenzo. Is Lorenzo here yet? No, of course not. Or we'd all be dead already. Now answer the question. Why did you free him? Uh, didn't know who to believe. I wasn't sure who was telling the truth, you or him. And now he's coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. I hired this idiot and he betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. Uh, here to help? If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I can see why you like him, Edward. He has such a way with words. Oh my! Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I People like what can't you've actually done with live here. Shut up, Hancock. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. You're there we go. Holy fuck. We already lost some health from that. How strong is this guy going to be? I actually want to see this. 
What's up, bitch I boy? Knew we would have to pay eventually. Where'd he go? It's got to be is he above? Yeah, he is. Where's he going to? He's running away. What the fuck? There we go. Holy shit, he has a lot of health. Oh my god. Well, this ought to be interesting. Oh my god, is that a fucking laser beam he was firing at me? Oh shit. Okay, definitely laser beam. Come on, unload into his ass. Ah. Oh god. Don't die, Edward. Edward 40 hands, don't die. Are you trying to fucking stab Lorenzo? Holy shit! Edward, you fucking badass! There we go, okay, okay. Keep keep shooting him a little bit. He's almost dead. A couple little thigh shots here. Down goes Lorenzo. What kind of a gun was that? I kinda wanna see. He came here with fucking murder weapons. Look at that. Alright, well, let's take that crap. I mean, same effect at the it end of the day. Been a lot worse. Okay, let's talk to Jack and see what's up now. See what happens. Actually, I'm curious as to what happens here. Where do I go from here? What the? Okay, that was weird. Where's Jack? Oh shit! Kind of just fucked up their house with that jump. He was going to kill me, kill all of us. Okay, I'm a I always knew we shouldn't be using the serum. What's up, Jack? Hey there. Now do you see? I told you what would happen if Lorenzo got free. Uh How could I know? How could I have known he would be so dangerous? You could have listened to me. I made it very clear how important it was for you to follow my instructions. But it could have at least nobody died. I only wish I'd been able to find some. I still believe that with a little more but it doesn't matter now. Eh, a few cards short of a full deck. What now? What now? I need to bury my father. Before you go, you did make the right choice. I think this is fair compensation. Okay. Well, either way, we still finished it. This time we just finished it with a boss fight. And no one died. Uh, reward? Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understand. Mm -hmm. Come back in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Alright. Now... Can we save again? Okay, we're gonna do this save. Now I'm gonna very quickly load. I wanna see what happens if I help Jack. This is gonna get very confusing, probably. Uh, but I do wanna see some of the outcomes here, I guess, for lack of better words. You lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? Okay. I was right. You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure- Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Oh shit, Edward's gonna Your turn story on? story about curing the What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. You're saying you think Jack's been lying. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He seems pretty crazy now, but who wouldn't be after being lying? Well, Jack, anything you want to clear up? You can't seriously doubt me, Edward. <gasps> oh my! Ah, you're all here. Good. How did you get in here? Why so surprised? This People is my house. Live here, after right? all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Do I have to fight him or is he... Oh, we're killing him now? Oh, so there is a separate ending. Look at that. All right, Lorenzo. Yeah, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, reward. I didn't do this for nothing. Don't worry. You will find I always keep my promises. Mysterious serum. One of it. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply, as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. 
As for myself, I can see that I have a lot to learn. Things have changed while I've been locked away. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. Uh... Possibilities? What are you talking about? The world's been destroyed. You're looking at things the wrong way, my dear. The old world's luxuries were paid for by it now, however. All right. Anything else to talk about? <clears throat> ah, my friend. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? Despite the fact he's insane and awful, I kind of like him. I was curious about the ancient artifact you always wear. Jack spent so many futile years trying. Through it, I commune with the ancient mind, whether they live within it or it communicates with them. What I do know is that it has white. I spent my long captivity exploring the memories of the ancients, their arts and sciences. Therefore, did you need something else? Um, need more serum. I need more serum. When you've used what I gave you, I will be glad to provide another vial. What happens if I drop else? it? Does he get mad? Mm, never mind. Hmm. Okay, so if I use the vial now, let's see what happens. I want to mess with this stuff and see what's up with this. Use one of those. There we go. We get like plus five strength. We should have like insane amount. Yeah, all right. Really strong. What's up? Yes? What can I do for you? Ah, uh, serum. I need more serum. When you've used what I gave you, I will be glad to provide another vial. Are we done? Uh, never mind. Okay, what happens never if mind. we drop all of it? Did he say not to drop it? I want to see what happens if we drop it. I want to see if we can, like, piss him off by doing this or something. One, two, three, four. Wandering into places like this. Yeah, what's up, Lorenzo? Please make yourself at home. Trust me. What can I do? Need more serum. I need more serum. Have you forgotten that serum is exclusively for your own use? I will not provide more for you to sell whole. Was there anything else? Okay, so that's what happens. All right, well, never mind. Never mind. Hmm. All right, interesting enough. Mysterious serum, yada yada. It's all right, though. We're going to go ahead and load up the save that is cooler, aka where people don't die and life is good. Uh, by that, of course, I want to go to the basement where we did do the right thing. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do I reload this one or do I reload a di You know, it's a hard decision to make because this one we did the right thing from the beginning. There might be a different outcome, but at the same time, if there's a different outcome, it's probably barely different at all. So it doesn't matter too much. Let's reload this one. See what's up. We're going to like uh, sleep for a week. We'll come back and see what he's discovered with the artifact, because that's what he said to do. So, uh, yeah. Hey. You see now that I was right about Lorenzo. Too late, of course. Alright, so he's kind of salty. Well, let's reload the other save. Ha! <laughs> let's reload the other save here somewhere. Uh, it's the Parsons basement. And now let's travel back without the boss battle and see what the family reacts to. I just kind of want to see all the different endings. And how they work out. There's three different endings. There's killing him here, boss battle back home, or helping him. And then he's insane. He runs that house. And I uh, get an infinite amount of mysterious serum. Uh, oh, I suppose we could have still talked to uh, the other guy. Edward, about what had happened. I wonder. I mean, we could have done that, but... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get out of here, though. Uh, let's get to one of our settlements, sell a bunch of stuff, sleep for about seven days straight, and head back to the cabin house and see what is up. Because this is going to get very, very interesting. And I want to see if he discovers anything with that artifact, because if so, maybe we get our own source of mysterious serum for the future because that serum is kind of insanely amazing because it literally removes all rads gives you plus five strength which you kind of already have seven strength so it doesn't matter too much and just gives you a variety of crap like that so i am um, i am curious i want to see what's up so let's get hot let's get head out of here <laughs> that sounded weird out of context let's get out of here see what is up and take things from there. 
Just crack my knuckles by my head. Woo! I am piped up. Let's do this. Pipe it up. Where are we going? Lots of dead people. Jesus Christ. Alright, do we head back to the cabin house now? Or do we wait like a week? He said wait a week, so we'll head on back to... Uh, oh, we... This place is under attack. Alright, we'll head to Ten Pines Bluff. We'll defend it. Uh, we'll wait seven days. And then we'll head back and see what is up. Because I'm kind of very curious as to what the hell is up. And I want to see what the hell is up. Now then, whenever this decides to finish, we should be able to get the hell out of here. And see how everything- Oh shit, we're getting shot at! Right off the bat- Oh my god, grenades! Why? There we go, super mutant down. Oh no! Another one. They all dead- Nope, they, they, they're still throwing fucking mollies. Is that it? We have more of them? Why would you guys attack Oberlin Station of all places? This place is a shithole. Honestly, ain't nothing- Stop throwing mollies at me, you bastard. We win yet? God damn it. No, there's more. I know that you're angry, friend. I know that you're angry. Settler, you okay? Did I just kill that settler on accident? Ah, fuck. I shot her in the back of the head. Didn't I? I, I did. I did. Yeah. I'm an awful person, of course. I, uh, I don't care about this place too much, though, but still, I feel so bad. Well, at least there's a bed we could use, right? Let's sleep here. I can't- alright, let's get out of our power armor here. We'll do that first and foremost. We'll sleep for about seven days, then we'll fast travel back and see what is up. So, mattress, sleep, 24 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and do this seven times. This is probably gonna take a little while. I will be back whenever we are done. Uh, alright. We return. Someone wants to talk. What's up, Hancock? Is everything alright? Yeah, yeah, it ain't anything bad. Ugh. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. Who's Bobby again? Uh, oh, she tricked us she both. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True, but it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often, he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. Uh, don't blame yourself. You can't blame yourself. Sounds like you were outmatched. Probably would have killed you too. You're right. But it was still spineless. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house. Right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock. First American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes <laughs> spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. Uh, guessing you won? The fact that you're standing here and Vic isn't would suggest things went well? Oh, yeah. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. And burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house. Wrapped a rope around his neck and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. 
And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. Uh, couldn't agree more. And you're never going to have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You want to get moving? Uh, sounds good. All right, back to me sleeping and waiting a week and then seeing how things go. BRB. All right, we've slept a week in this shithole amongst the dead. There's still apparently one settler here working all alone. Super sorry, you're very lonely before at least you had a friend, but now she's dead. And let's head back to the cabin house and see what is up with this artifact. Dude, I'm calling it Jack's ass is going to have the artifact on his end and be like, Hey, hey star, look at me. I am now the smart one. I have the artifact on my head and we are going to learn and destroy the world. And I'll be like, whoa, bro. I ain't about that. And then I'll shoot him in the face. To the face, to the face. And he'll be dead. <sighs> Broadside is the answer to that age-old question. Would it be fun to walk around and shoot people with a portable nave cannon? Yes. <laughs> yes. It, I love just the grammar on that. Yes. Period. Yes, it would. It's like so concise and exact. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stupid. I get excited over grammar. That's how now exciting I am. Uh, I, it, 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 I don't know. It just seemed funny the way it was said in my way. The way it was said in my head. Now then, if we can see what that was up with Jack... Hopefully there's something. If not, eh, we kind of just slept a week away of our lives for no reason. But if there is, I'll be happy. Because I want to see what the fuck is going on here, matey. Come on. Hello there. Hello there, Mr. Hyundai. How are you doing? That robot is currently off. Gonna turn on there, big boy. Yeah. Advised. You are being watched. No, I'm not. You're off, bitch boy. Get out of here. Not even doing anything. All right, let's head into here. See us up in the cabin house. See if his ass is wearing that thing, and if he'll be the evil one now, or if he actually managed to study the artifact. I'm curious. I mean, I've slept a week. There better be some fucking results for me, man. I'm expecting something. What's up, Edward? Hi. Yeah. I just want to talk. Sorry. Oh. What do you want? Where's Jack? Jack, you up here? Where the fuck is Jack? Hold up. Hold up. Can't actually live here. Jack? Where does this go to? It's entirely new quarters. Uh, ooh, shiny. I will take all of that. Uh, is Jack not home? It's... Okay. Interesting. Is that... That's like a llama or something in there. Got some books in there. What the hell? Jack, where are you? People end up lab experiments. Lorenzo Cabot's journal. Oh shit. Finally away, Emma Jean and Wilma came to see me off. Emma Jean begging me not to go as usual. Poor girl, she takes partings hard. Jack wasn't there, of course. He thinks I'm making a laughing stock of the whole family with these expeditions. Has no time for what he calls ancient superstitions. No matter this time I'll return. Uh the weather is fine and the captain promises a quick crossing. The red tape involved in organizing this expedition. Tried my patience, almost the breaking point, but I'm sure it was better to obtain the necessary permits from the authorities through the State Department. The chief of documents will be enough. Uh, so far so good. Uneventful crossing. Metternich was waiting for us in Lisbon. Welcome news that he had perfected his electrical sensing apparatus, which is now safely on board in its crates. If it works as well as he claims, this may save us weeks or even months of excavation. Finish hiring the team. Yada yada. Last we docked yesterday, up uploading a feverish da da da. On our way, nothing stands in the way but the desert. It's well without incidents. Superstitious grumblings from a local guide, which I take to be a good sign. Tomorrow we see if Metternich's apparatus works. If not, we begin digging the traditional way. Has been bulky, sand and its delicate workings, no doubt. But he has obtained a favorable reading of depression of the south. Heat during the day is tremendous. We'll set to work tomorrow and see what we can see. Nothing yet. Metternich swears that it wasn't a false reading. Two more days and then let's begin a search grid across the whole site. As disappointing as that'd be. Digger struck worked stone. Edge of a large circular structure. More trouble from the guide. The wisdom of not hiring the diggers locally now even more apparent as they pay little attention to him. I'm not convinced we found Ubar itself. We've uncovered several fragmentary inscriptions with runes that match the ancient text. Excellent progress. Monumental Plaza. All works stopped. Sandstorm huddled in tents. Darkness is complete. Sandstorm continues like something no one's ever seen. Guide is troublesome. L listen to his wild tales of ancient curses and forbidden secrets. Metternich is beginning to show signs of cracking under the strain. It's over, but two weeks of work has been undone. 
Area we cleared is now buried under server fleet of sand. The guy disappeared in the night. I won't miss some of the diggers are even more unsettled. You located what must be the foundation of the great temple. So far, nothing but stone and rubble. Something must have survived. Weather getting worse by the day. Not even when it's close. I must record everything while it's fresh in my mind. Although it's hard to concentrate with the crown right here in front of me. It's almost unbelievable even to me that I hold in my hands an artifact so clearly not made by an humanization, but it's set a pay. Da, da, da. We worked for at least a week to clear the shaft between beneath that. Diggers caught the excitement. Then we had solid stone. Sharks in the tunnel. Breakthrough. I was first in. Sarcophagus. I went in the chamber. We got to the lid and inside. I fell to my knees in shock. Diggers fled. Matter Nick white faced. I feared he was having a heart attack. Luckily, no. We'll make a full catalog of the tomb in the morning. I ordered it sealed up overnight. Not that I really believe any of the diggers would dare to enter it again, but better safe than sorry. I removed only the crown reverently without disturbing the body or any of the other artifacts. And so, vindication. The crown awaits, gleaming as if new made later. I now know that the city's name was not Ubar, but that this building was not a temple, and what was underneath was not a crypt. I may have so much to learn and so much to teach Wilhelma and Jack and Imogene. When we return, they will return together. Nick was surprised to see me wearing the crown this morning. I tried to argue with me when I ordered the men to bury everything we've uncovered. It doesn't matter now. The sandstorms will erase all evidence that we were ever here long before anyone can stumble across the site again. Safe with me until I can return and uncover more of her secrets when I'm ready. And, alright. Holy Batman. That was a fucking novel. These are some nice cigarettes. Those will sell. Another surgical journal. This dude likes his surgical journal. Seriously. He was a goddamn doctor or something. Um... Where's Jack, though? This is a nice-ass house, by the way, but... Jack, where are you, buddy? Oh, you better not have a fucking journal on your shit. I'm not reading your journal. Your journal's probably boring. They only said some, like, plot twists and crap. Yours are gonna suck. This is such a nice house, by the way. It is insane. Seriously. Uh, terminal. Nothing there. Clean drinking glass. 50 cal. And some money. And yeah, well... Not sure. I guess he's not back. We uh, discovered, uncovered some things about this place. Uh, he's not back unless maybe he's like somewhere in a different room. I'm gonna look around a little bit for him, see what we can find. But right now the signs are not super hopeful that he's around. Uh, and if he isn't, I mean, I guess that's okay. Uh, we might have to come back at a later episode and see what is up and if he even exists and where he is, if so. And, uh, see what the hell is up with this artifact he was talking about. Because he's really not back yet. Damn. Dude, seriously, I'm calling it. He's, go he's gonna have the artifact on his head. There's no other explanation. And I'm gonna keep coming back till he does. Oh, mini nuke, by the I, I never took that or did that replenish? I feel like that replenished because I remember specifically stealing that. <laughs> well, Edward's back, I guess. Hmm. Anyways, though, it looks like he's gone. So I guess that's going to do for this episode, though. So thank you guys so much for watching the video as always, but hopefully I'll see you in the next one.